Lord Saranoa, you would fight for us? Of course. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. Holy One's order or not, we have no intention of raising arms against the Roselle. We don't. Someone with less compassion in their heart might have. Saranoa. I... I cannot thank you enough. Let me fight alongside you. Fools! I knew you would dare to disobey the Holy One's commands! <laughs> Looks like this job just got more interesting. What do you want me to do, Silvio? Kill them, Rufus. Kill them all if you must. All right. But just so you know, full service don't come cheap. Block off all paths out of the village. You want a bloodbath? You'll have one. See where your idiotic ideals get you in the afterlife. Sarah, no. Ready and willing. I'm on it. My magic is at your disposal. Please, leave everything to me. already cut off our retreat. There's only one way to protect the village. Defeat. We must end this here. Let us pry out their weakness. We must move fast. I will end this. to kill. Ugh. Defeat is not an option. Ah. <laughs> yeah, we doing this? Yes! Yeah. Ah. I'll take you on! Wolfort won't lose. I'll show you what I can do. So 
Don't be afraid. I shall do what I can. I'm behind you. This will help. Ah! We just have to keep fighting. For my people! Ah. Very well. Tremble in fear! Let us pry out their weakness. I have your back. We'll get them yet. Ha! Try this. I feel stronger already. Victory is mine. I shall have... May yeah. your legacy wither and die! I won't lose! You don't stand oh, a chance! You've left yourself hurts. open! Yes! Ha! Who's next? Yeah. Oh, me too! This isn't good. Goodbye! Forward! Now I am this. Now oh, it hurts. Did you see that? Uh, we doing this? I'll send you. How about that? I have to keep going. Ready to see it spell. Just you wait. <clears throat> Come at me. Out of my way. I shall do what I can. For one and all. The tides are turning. Very well. The heavens rage! My prayers are vindicated. I see a path to victory. This is our chance. Oh. Victory is mine! I don't lose. I need a You won't escape. Yes. Sheer goal. My last yeah. strike is low. Yes. For the honor of House Wolfort. Over yet. Take aim. Victory is ours. Shall we begin? Ugh, leave it to me. It hurts. We doing this? Gotcha. You won't. 
won't beat me! You're in the way! Very well. Now! Prepare to die! Uh. This is troubling. Stay composed. We'll get him yet. This won't be easy. Did you see that? I need a healer. This is the end. Suffer. To work. Come on! From where shall we strike? Perish. Oh, we mustn't let our guard down. Boogie! Just like that. Allow me. Thank you. Victory is mine. No! I have to keep going. <laughs> that was easy. Don't be afraid. Too obvious. You will not hear me scream. Tread carefully. This is the end. Die already! I'll take this. Defeat is not an option. Death from above! We doing this? Ha! I won't give in. I won't miss! I will not fail. It wasn't meant to end uh, here. I shall do what I can. This is what I do. Sorry to worry you. I have to keep going. Come at me! My turn. Take this! I must find a way. All for victory. You have my thanks. I need a healer. This is the end. Victory is mine! Let's go then. This'll be fun. For the honor of House Wolfort. Wait your turn. I won't give in. What should I do? It's not over yet. Let me heal your wounds. Come at me. 
charge! I need a healer. These foes are not to be trifled with. Stay composed. Victory is mine! I won't give in. Fight me! Uh. Defeat is not an option. Perish. To lead, I must grow. There is nothing to be gained from this resistance. How irresponsible of you to lead your people to ruination, Lord Saranoa. Let's go then. This'll be fun. I shall do what I can. Your wings are here. I appreciate it. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. For victory! My land strikes true! I've been waiting for this! Stop. Stop. Victory is mine! I can still move. This is troubling. Time to take flight! From the range! Defeat is not an option. Death from above! <clears throat> to work. Eat dirt! <clears throat> Time for some sorcery! <clears throat> we must tread carefully. This is why I hate fighting! Shall we begin? Was mistaken. Be at ease. My apologies. I won't lose! It is <clears throat> here! No! Impossible! I I can't die! Someone! Anyone! Help me! Wonderful. Just wonderful. A dead man can't pay me my dues. Will you seek your vengeance for him upon us? Ha! Huh, not for free, I won't. Besides, I ain't gotta lift a finger. You lot are finished. Silvio sent word to the others ages ago, telling them House Wolfort disobeyed orders. What? The Hyzantians will be here any minute now. I'd wish you good luck fighting them, but all the luck in the realm won't save you now. Shall I kill him? No, let him go. He's not but a mercenary. In any case, our main concern is the Hyzantian forces. They charged us with this mission as a test of House Wolfort's loyalty. If they suspect we cannot be brought to heal, they will set upon us with the full might of the Holy State. And we cannot hope to win against their armies. I know that, but there's nothing else left for us to do. Nothing but to fight and die. Do not abandon hope yet. We must find some way of surviving this together. 
There is no such way, my lord. No. There is one. We go to Hyzade. We trust House Woolfort. Huh. Have you lost your wits, Jerome? You've seen for yourself, haven't you? Wolfort has never abandoned the Roselle. Not 30 years ago, and not now. They defied the Holy One and fought to defend us. It may take some time, but as long as House Wolfort stands, there's hope for our freedom yet. We'll just have to hold out under Hyzant's thumb until then. I see no other way for our people to survive. My mind's made up. I trust Wolfort, like Jerome says. Then I shall do the same. That's right, the key! Find Lady Orlea's key in our stead. That'll secure our freedom. I just know it. Is this truly what you wish to do? Whatever Hyzant or the Source has in store for us, we can take it. As long as our allies are out there fighting for us, we will never give up hope. And we can trust you to fight for us, can't we, Lord Saranoa? <sighs> Jerome. Of course. I promise you will be free. Then we are in your hands. You sure about this, Benedict? I have no qualms doing whatever it takes to avert disaster. Saranoa squarely defeats Silvio and his forces. Jerome and the others are moved by House Wolfort's valiant fight to defend them. But knowing they cannot fight forever, the Roselle decide to place their trust in House Wolfort and agree to relocate to Hyzant. Roselle in tow, Saranoa and his retinue return to the Holy State. Thank you. 
We survived. But what consequences must we now pay? Worry not, my lady. I shall relay that Silvio died an honorable death in battle. Hyzant is unlikely to raise any questions, so long as we bring the Roselle back as promised. Indeed. But we must not let Jerome or the others down. They've trusted their fates to us. Of course. If that key they mentioned truly exists, then we can use it as leverage against Hyzant. After House Wolfort's position is secure, that is. We must move faster than that. They cannot be forced to suffer for so long. My lord, Lady Frederica, you have no cause to concern yourselves. I am the one who made the promise, so the responsibility falls upon my shoulders. That isn't the problem. A disgraceful trick. Benedict, I appreciate your motives, but... It is my duty. Leave the villain's role to me. You misunderstand. Words must be followed by action and accepting responsibility. That is the Woolfort way. Is that not the very reason you defend our house? My lord. Whatever the case, we must first report to the palace. Let us discuss what we shall do after that. The Holy One has made a decision. The Roselle have returned to the flock, and for that the Goddess is pleased. Now they may begin to absolve themselves of their sins and gain true salvation. For your service in bringing this deed to pass, the Holy One has judged you worthy of a title most exalted. You are to be welcomed as one of the saintly seven. That is quite the honor. While I cannot argue the courage of Lord Saranoa's deeds, I wonder if this elevation of station is premature. Hmm. Minister Exam, I seem to recall a time not long past when your detractors said the same in regards to you. However, you proved their misgivings to be unfounded, did you not? The Hierophant believes that for Hyzant to prosper, the young must be given the chance to build the foundation for the future. Of course. My apologies for speaking out of turn. I have no words to express my appreciation. The Goddess may rest assured that I shall treat my new title with all the gravity it deserves. The saintly seven are whole once more, and this marks a joyous occasion for all of Hyzant. May the goddess be with you. So, have we earned the goddess's mercy? More than that, in fact. I have been honored with a position as one of the saintly seven. After a trying journey, our worries are finally at an end. That is heartening. The decisions we were forced to make to get here, I pray we never have to repeat them. You have my word we never will, Frederica. Good. Then let's return to Castle Wolford. Home at last. It seems congratulations are in order, my friend. The future of your house is secured. After much suffering. That may be so. But you should still hold your head high. Not only have you protected those that serve you, but you have uplifted them to even greater heights. Perhaps. But my rise to power was built on the sacrifices of many. Those sacrifices were made purposeful by your judgment, Saranoa. 
You've grown to meet the changes fate has brought. Thinking back on the day you first met Frederica, I hardly recognize you now. That day seems so far away now. Would you go back if you could? Back to those carefree days? I don't know. I wouldn't. At first, I would awake every morning with a heavy heart. Images of the peaceful Glenbrook from my dreams lingering in my mind. It was all I could do to simply survive through the day. But our encounter with the Roselle made me realize something. I could no longer live in self-pity. To do so would be to invite a slow and insidious death. I had to make a stand. I had to act. I had to be ready to discard this mask once and for all. My friend, I have a request to make of you, selfish as it may be. Aid me in my fight against Esfrost. I want you by my side when I see the Archduke laid low. <sighs> of course. The Holy One has ordered for us to deliver our Elfric to House Wolfwort. And here I thought your research results to be top secret. What a curious turn of events. Perhaps the Hierophant determined it a good chance to test them in the field. They could easily sink in as frosty ship or two. And yet I see not a trace of a smile on you. I never wanted to build weapons for war. <laughs> yet you don't think twice about toying with human life. How ironic. How dare you! Have a wonderful day. The audacity of Edor's dog. Now, let us commence the Congress of Saints. I believe Minister Saranoa had an issue to bring to the Collective. Thank you, Minister Edor. It concerns the trade embargo. This is a plain show of aggression from Esfrost. They mean to weaken us before they strike. That is why we must crush them before they do. I would ask for my pleas to be heard by the Goddess. This is not a matter to be taken lightly, my lord. Esfrost's declaration was a surprise, to be sure. But without salt, Esfrost's people will suffer. If they refuse trade, we shall oblige them until they see reason. Let them have their futile posturing. Apologies for my boldness, but I must urge you to treat this situation with gravity. The Archduke is no fool. There is doubtless an ulterior motive behind this embargo. Is that so? Such as? I believe his aim is to crush his enemies in one swift assault, just as in the Salt Iron War. Esfrost's army would again stoop to such skullduggery? As if our memories are so short. Esfrost and Glenbrook tried the same, at once declaring war and attacking our sacred city. But history remembers their failure. They sacrificed their honor in vain as their assault proved impotent against the goddess's shield. Defeat quickly followed. Indeed, and Gustadolf's memory is as long as anyone's. He would not try again, unless he had a means to bypass the goddess's shield. 
which I believe now he has. You cannot mean. They're explosives. The very technology researched by Dragan to aid in mining. I had never considered it could be used in warfare, but the idea is not beyond imagining. I see. It is clear that to ignore this possibility would be folly. What measure would you suggest we take, Minister Serenoa? I would bring the fight to Esfrost. Strike first while their plan is yet in its infancy. The Archduke is bold because he commands the strength of Glenbrook. If the Wolfort forces were to take the capital, he would lose that foothold and be forced to retreat. All I require is the leave of the Holy One. A daring plan, Minister Serenoa. Let us suppose you did win back Glenbrook. Who then would rule over its people? Will you leave Cordelia, assuming she still lives, to sit on the throne as queen? All reports indicate she is naught but a puppet of Esfrost. We would suffer her rule at her own peril. And if House Wolfort were to assume the throne, they would be decried as usurpers. A troubling complication indeed. I believe I can present your solution. For you see, the second prince of Glenbrook yet lives. And he stands before you now. Impossible. Esfrost trumpets your death across the realm. Another deception, it would seem. There can be no mistaking those features. I shall take the seat of power in Glenbrook and pledge allegiance to Hyzant. Oh ho! Would that every council of the Seven were this eventful. For the Prince of Glenbrook to drive Esfrost from his ancestral home, I can imagine no greater justice. But what do you make of this, Your Holiness? Do you find Lord Wolfort's proposition to be a wise one? Understood, Your Holiness. Lord Wolfort, Prince Roland, the goddess has hearkened to your plea and has passed down her judgment. You are to have the full support of Hyzant and her people. Lay Estfrost low and drive back the discord that threatens to engulf Norzelia. If there is aught you require, you need only ask. Her servants are at your complete disposal. Grand Constable Roland, Lord Wolfort of the Seven, walk with courage and smite thine enemies. The Goddess shall be at your back. We shall bring her glory. For Hyzant. There is much preparation to be done. Together, we shall bring an end to Esfrost's hubris. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? You are needed here. If Sikris's missive is to be believed, I'm afraid matters are far too grave to be left to anyone else. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being used to build a weapon of untold destructive power. Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. Svarog is bold to have carried out his plan this far. Death Snell? What's that? Let the adults speak, my dear. If we're to be wed, then there should be trust between us. How long do you intend on treating me like a child? Very well. Tell her, Thallus. If you insist, brother, this weapon combines the powerful explosives developed by Dragan with Esfrost's mastery of steelcraft. Although yet to be tested, 
This cannon is said to have the power to breach even Hyzant's walls. The goddess's shield would buckle under a single blast. But the shield is impregnable. I have heard nothing of this. Do you think so little of your general? A general is to win me victory, as and when I command it. <sighs> Svarog's intent isn't to bring Hyzant to heal, however. He means to use the cannon against brother. But the fool was so blinded by ambition that he never saw the strings guiding his every deed. Fool that he may be, he served his purpose well. The cannon could not have been made without his engineers and Dragan's research. He will die secure in the knowledge that his bloodline contributed to the glory of Esfrost. Sadly, he shall not live to see his work completed. With it, we shall do what our forebears could not. The goddess's shield shall yield before Esfrost's might and ingenuity. If we can even approach the walls, brother, the trade embargo will ensure that Hyzant is especially wary of our actions. On the contrary, their focus will turn inward. With not else to leverage their influence with, they will take measures to see that none of their precious salt escapes their borders. There may be some gnashing of teeth, to be sure, but it will only be in an attempt to hide their inner turmoil. Erika, muster a force, then march to the Hierophant's palace at once. Deliver to Hyzant my final demands. As you wish, brother. I shall gather what news I can of the Saintly Seven's machinations. Thalas, you will remain in Glenbrook. Conduct yourself as if I had never left. You hardly need to ask, brother. That is all. Now go. Even his own flesh and blood are but tools to be used and then discarded when their purpose is served. He has faith only in himself, such has ever been his way. 